But I wanted to go over water treatment and potable water since I am here in Mexico and the one thing everybody tells you when you leave is don't drink the water, which of course I immediately went and brushed my teeth with the water. <laughs> um, so hopefully I don't get sick, but um, there's a couple ways that um, the, the water, even the groundwater can become contaminated and it's mostly by things that are happening on the surface. So runoff and uh, there's lots of fecal matter everywhere that you just like wouldn't know about um, and it gets into the water supply and it can drain down to the huge shallow groundwater aqu aquifers. Um, if, if you don't have enough pressure in your, your pipes for distributing your water, um, you can have what they call inflow and that is when some of the natural water that's in the ground is going into your pipe so it's bringing some of that contamination of the water that's already been treated in, into the system and therefore you, you could get sick. Um, and then if you don't have the right sort of treatment, obviously um, it could affect your water quality. Um, if you're not doing, you, you, you could have hits of different coliforms or different bacteria and generally in the U.S. there's, there's a sampling protocol or absolutely in the U.S. there's a sampling protocol and it's, um, it's very rigorous. I don't know quite what it is. They do like back tea tests monthly and they'll do a presence absence test. So basically you take 100 milliliters of a sample and you, you put a cal cal alert powder in it. You let it sit and incubate for about 24 hours. And then if it's a color, that means yes, there's at least one coliform in there. Um, and if there's one coliform in 100 milliliters, it fails the test. Um, so we require that public water systems well, obviously they have to be registered as a public water system and they follow all the state, local, and federal guidelines for their testing. Um, I don't know a whole lot about Mexico and why they say don't drink the water, um, but yeah, maybe I'll do some research and let you know. And I, I just thought of it because I was sitting here around the fountain and behind me is um, a church, San Domingo, I believe is the name of the church. And it's a cute little plaza here. I can't see anything because the sun is so bright. But it's um, it's a Sunday in December, and so it's a little bit chilly in the evenings and perfect weather during the day. So I'm just walking around, seeing what I can see, and um, kind of got my eye on the lookout and, and anything that I might want to purchase for my family for Christmas. So yeah, it was a fun little weekend in Mexico. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.